Alright everybody, how's it going? My name is Purple Fair Gaming, and today I will be bringing you guys another episode of Optive Craft. And in this episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of interior decorating, because I've kind of been motivated in building. So yeah, we're going to be using some stairs, some slabs, I don't know, we're just going to be doing a bunch of cool mumbo jumbo that hopefully look good. Oh, now let's put this, that one back in there. That's our silk touch one. We need to savor that one. Okay, so I'm pretty sure to put stairs like that. And, oh, hmm. We need a lot of room for this. I mean, we don't have a lot of space, but that's kind of good because then we don't have to do so much decorating. Uh, it won't be too hard then, that's what I mean. You don't have to put so much effort into it. Just a little detail here and there. And yeah, you got yourself a nice looking house thing. Or this isn't really a house, but... Ah, oh, dang it. See, this is the only problem though. We don't have any room to do any of this stuff, but... Um, I think we'll manage. So, I kind of want to find a place to put a table. I think on this wall would be nice. Um, yeah, we'll have room for this. Oh, not right there. Right here. Oh, no. <laughs> Dirt. And as you can see, I'm kind of working on the floor. Um, it still is not completed. And also, that house, it gonna be going down. I hate that house now. I absolutely despise it. Um, do we have shovel? Yes, we do. Alright, so let's go. Do we have, um... We need three place, three, three plate, not places, three pieces of clay. Wait, no, we only need one piece of clay so we can get ourselves a flower pot. I'm pretty sure we have some, but it won't hurt to just go out here and grab some. I'm pretty sure there's some down here. Yes, yep, there is. And since we're down here, we might as well grab more than three just because, just because we're down here. And we'll probably forget about this, so yeah, let's just do that. We need a respiration helmet, that'd be nice. We already have aqua affinity, but respiration would be quite good as well. So let's smelt up this brick and um, we'll make a, um, a flower pot to put on our table as maybe a cup. It could be either a cup or it could be something, I don't know. Uh, we're also going to add in a piston door later. That would be nice. Alright, so let's actually only smelt a little bit of this. Because um, we're, we're going to be using the rest for hardened clay. So let's turn all of this back into clay blocks so we can smelt in. Alright. Okay, so uh, let's think houses. What do houses have? Um, maybe we can add in a little eating area. Um, I don't know. What I'm thinking is we grab some iron. And I'm not the first person to do this. Um, it won't really fit the theme of the build, but it'll look really nice anyway. Um, so we get the weighted pressure plate. And I'm pretty sure we put this right here. And I'm pretty sure we could put a picture right there. So let's grab a piece of wool. We have a lot from because of the mob grinder. Uh, because we just turned all the string into wool. Now we just all have loads and loads of wool. And I'm pretty sure we could change it back into string. That'd be interesting to test. So can we place this right here? Yes, we can. All right. So now we even got a little computer. So let's make ourselves... Um, a little seat thing I don't know um, let's put it right here all right nice now we got a little desk and what we're gonna, what we're gonna be doing with this is whoops we need a crafting bench a work table whatever you want to call it crafting table workbench work table crafting bench and we're gonna put it right there and that could act as just an empty flower pot or it can act as a um, a thing, like a, a pencil jar or something like that. So, 
Uh, what else can we add into here? Maybe, um, let's see. I mean, you have to think houses. What do houses have? I mean, this is a storage room, but like, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking that we actually carve out another room. That'd be interesting. So maybe another room right there and another room right there. So let's do something like that, actually. Uh, that'd be, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. I mean, I've never really been much of an actual like builder but i've i've been practicing i guess i don't know that sounds a little weird but i've been practicing on building and i find that i'm getting better as time goes by so it's a work in progress but i am actually getting pretty good at it so we're also going to start another room over here and oh no we can't start another room over here this might be an issue um what do we do i mean maybe we'll just have to deal with it being unsymmetrical we didn't even need that we need this um i think we'll be able to deal with that not sure though um we'll have to see all right so this is going to be kind of like a it's gonna be a kitchen, but it's not gonna have like any furnaces in it or anything You know, I don't want to do this. Okay, let's do Let's just complete um, Architectural work in this room first then we'll worry about adding crazy things like other rooms, so That looks nice. I like this We need to come up with a new system of lighting so I think what we're gonna have to do is replace the roof with stone slabs, which I hate to do because this roof looks so fine and dandy and it looks so great. I hate to do it, but um, I have a really great lighting idea. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but I have a really great idea for how the lighting is gonna look. So, we're just going to test it out, and um, what we're going to need is some glowstone, which we actually don't have, which is an issue. Um, but basically, we're going to slab up this roof, and then, um, I think you guys will just have to see. It'll be a surprise. Uh, we're going to need white stained glass, I think. Yeah, sounds a little weird, but you guys will all see in the end. Alright, so tomorrow we actually have a minimum day on school, which is pretty nice. It is pretty nice indeed. It is the end of the grading period. Um, I believe I'm going to be getting a uh, pretty solid grades, actually. I mean, I'm going to be getting a B in science, unless if I do bad on a quiz tomorrow. Uh, a B in science, an A... An A minus in everything else, so like math, history, uh, English, all that good stuff. Um, let's see, do we have any stone in here? No. Oh, we have the stone slabs, though. That's actually what we needed. Okay, so now we gotta fill up this whole entire roof with stone slabs, then we'll add in everything else later. So let's get rid of this block and. I am not sure if we'll have enough or not. I'm pretty sh I'm pretty confident that we will, but I am not sure. Uh, can't be too sure. Um, we're gonna have to get rid of that dirt right there, but we'll do that eventually. It's not a necessity right now. It will be in the future though. Uh, let's just put that right there, I suppose. And I don't even know why that is. I just realized no it's not i was just gonna say that this whole entire room is unsymmetrical but i lied it's not it's actually all right because i thought there's a pillar right there and there's not one right there but then i look to the other side of the room and it's the exact oh is it right there one right here one right here ah, yeah it is actually all symmetrical so i don't have to worry about that at all um Seems like it isn't, but it is, so 
Also, being symmetrical actually isn't always the best thing, believe it or not. It might sound a little crazy, but yeah, it's just kind of how it is. Um, being symmetrical looks nice most of the time, but sometimes it's just better if it's not symmetrical. And I think I have a nice idea for the floor that will change the whole entire look of the building. But um, I will have to collect some sand and some stuff. We're going to need a bit of sand and let's see. Whoops. Oh, that looks nice actually. Not going to lie. All right. Give me that stone. We're going to need sand and green. It's not green. It's cactus green dye thing. Um, it's like the pattern is sandstone, green stained clay, just like that. It looks really nice. Uh, it sounds a little weird, but it's actually, it actually looks really fantastic. Uh, I love the design. I got it from someone off of YouTube. I think it was like Magnetic Minecraft or something like that. Um, I used to watch his old series before he quit YouTube. Um, got Andrew. Uh, aka Elite Husky Gaming is a huge MM or Magnetic Minecraft fanboy. And yeah, oh, did I show you guys these auto pumpkin farms? Yeah, I think I did, but basically you flick the lever and that stuff happens. And I don't know why, but that took me forever to make when it was just the simplest thing of redstone in the world. Um, I don't know why, the wiring just was being kind of weird. It was kind of strange. Do we put pumpkins in here? Oh, we do now. Um, pretty sure we could actually make pumpkin pie as well, which is actually pretty good. Uh, pumpkin pie gives a lot of saturation, but we need eggs. Yeah, we need eggs. I lied. We can't make pumpkin pie. All right, let's take that stone and make that. All right, I think we're, whoops, give me that. I think we're almost done and I'm pretty sure the audio is going to be a bit better because I got a new setup so now instead of my microphone being behind the keyboard it's in front of it so like I'm talking directly into the microphone rather than the keyboard talking directly into the microphone because the blue snowball uh, has three settings the first one is well I'm not going to say the exact setting name of it but Basic. Oh, we're one off, really. <laughs> it records the whole. It records just the front of it, which is what you are supposed to use for commentaries. Um, so that's what I'm using right now. Uh, the second setting is more for blocking out background noise. So like, if you're go if you're in like a band and you want to record your music or whatever, and you want to block out like cheering people. Or people that are like screaming in the background or something. That's what you want to do. And the third setting is Omnicapsule. I know the actual name of that. Um, which basically activates um, the whole entire microphone. So mic around. Like the blue snowball is just basically a ball. And it has a microphone on all, all sides. So it activates all, I don't know, all sides of the sphere. So, anyway, that's besides the point. We're going to go to the nether. I'm going to click some glowstone. And I will see you guys back when I have some. Alright, everybody. We are back. And this is kind of the design that I'm going for. Oh, hello, zombie. How you doing? Hey, beautiful. Oh, that was a fail. Alright. He should die now. Um, so this is kind of the design that I'm going for. You can kind of see right there. That's the kind of light source that I'm going for. And it's probably going to drive your guys' OCD crazy of how I'm going to be doing this. Um, because it's not going to be symmetrical at all. If you do have OCD, this really is indeed going to drive you crazy. I'll try to make it as symmetrical as I can. But yeah, this is basically the design that's going to be happening. And let me just, let me just fill in this with... Um, regular stuff now uh all right let's break this stone with attempting not to break these stone slabs and we have succeeded congratulations to us we do good we do good
We do good. All right. Oh, come on. Ah, <laughs> I apologize for that yelling there. That was actually me and not anybody in my house. It's usually people in my house that are yelling when I record, but this time it was me. I still put out. Right, cool. Okay, everything looks fine and dandy now. Um, so let's put one right here as well. Uh, as I said, we are going to, oh, whoops, that was a fail. Uh, we have Silk Touch. We have a Silk Touch Axe. We don't have to worry about this. Look at this. Boom, we got it back. See, not a problem. That's why I love this thing. And look, that didn't even take any efficiency out of it. That's crazy. The unbreaking is just unstoppable. Okay, so we go like that, I'm pretty sure. And there's dirt behind there, but you can't see it. So it's really no big deal. Um, so I'm going to test out the lighting levels as well to make sure that no mobs will spawn. So I don't know if this one, this will work quite yet. Uh, yeah, it won't. Um, so let's just knock out all the torches right now to see where we may need more. Um, let's put one right about here. And one right here as well. Did I do that symmetrically? And one right here. And let's see. Yeah, we might need a few here as well. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go right there and right there. And let's break out these. Whoops. Right here. And break out these as well. Oh, I failed again. Uh, we could just deal with breaking that one. I'm pretty sure we have, no, we don't have any more white stained glass other than this. Okay, so let's grab this. Put in our glow. Oh, no, fail. I could have used my silk touch on that as well. And right here, too. Get our white stained glass. Like this. And yeah, this looks um, almost modern now. I might have to change the design a little bit to make it look a bit more modern to kind of suit the theme. I think that'd be pretty nice, but yeah, as of right now, I'm really liking how this house is going. I'm going to get the nicest floor that you guys will ever see down in here, and it's going to be really great. So anyway, I thank you all for watching another episode of Optive Craft. Can we keep the support going on this series? It would really help more than you think. Can we get this video to four to five to six likes? So basically four to six like likes. It helps more than you think. I'm Purple Fair Gaming. No Optive Craft in a while. Or there won't be Optive Craft um, for, I don't know, maybe a couple days because I need to renew the server. And yeah, I don't have any money at the moment. So once I get some money, I'll make sure to do that. So, thanks for watching Optivecraft, I guess. Make sure to leave a like, etc. Subscribe, and I will see you guys later.